Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you basically how you can make that amazing build up that you guys saw in the preview. So, uh, I made this build up by myself and uh, it kind of looks like a preview or a build up that Sack would do. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. So, I already have my clip, I already have my velocity. It doesn't really matter what velocity you use just because this build up is, it really works with any velocity that you use. So uh, once you have your velocity, you might not even have your velocity, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, obviously have, have your marker on the kill and uh, go into the effects library and go right here where it says effects where my mouse is, click effects and drag in an adjustment clip just anywhere in the project. And now that uh, you have the adjustment clip, make sure that your playback head uh, is on the marker. So right here, um, mine is on the marker. And now uh, select the video and click shift and arrow key and make sure it's the left arrow key. So go click shift and left arrow key once. Make sure it's only once. And now that you've done that, uh, click the right arrow key 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now, basically, now that you've done that, drag the adjustment clip back. So basically, it starts uh, where your playback head is, and it ends on the kill. So now that uh, my adjustment clip is big and long, <laughs> I'm basically going to split it on the kill and basically just erase the rest of it. So you have you should have this little build-up section that is around 50 frames long. And uh, now that you've done that, uh, what you're going to want to do now is uh, go into the Fusion tab, uh, make sure that your playback is on the adjustment clip. This will be super important. Uh, and now go into File Explorer and go to wherever you download the preset. Uh, where is mine? Mine is... All right, so I found where I put my build up. I kind of forgot where I put it. And now that you've located it, just drag the file that says in same build up uh, into the Fusion tab. Just doesn't matter where it is. And uh, I forgot to mention that for this tutorial, you will need uh, Universe and Sapphire plugins. I might leave some tutorials in the description on how to get them uh, made by other creators like me. But uh, yeah, I think I'll do that because a lot of you guys don't have these uh, plugins that are necessary for my tutorials. And uh, now that you've done that, obviously connect it to media in, media out, connect media into Uni Holometrix, and connect media out to S underscore Vignet. And now you should see this. It looks like an underwater effect with a bit of a distort. In my opinion, it looks really cool. Uh, and now go back into the edit tab and you should just have this. It should look like I said before, underwater like VHS. And now here's where you want to fade in the buildup. So right here, once you click on the adjustment clip, you should, sit, you should see in the top right that they're like, uh, that there's a rectangle on the top right of it and rectangle on the top left right here. And on the top left rectangle, you're just going to want to drag it all the way to the right. So basically, it's just a simple fade in. And it should look like this. It is going to lag. And a way to prevent lag is by clicking the Render Cache Color Output. And uh, so right click on the Adjustment Clip and click Render Cache Color Output. Alright, so now that mine is fully rendered out, you should see a blue bar over your screen once you wait a couple of minutes. And that means that everything has been rendered, so the playback should be really smooth. It should look like that. And uh, now what you're going to want to do is uh, j just put in an impact that you have downloaded either from me or from any other editor, one that you made yourself, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm just going to drag in this one right here. Uh, I don't, sadly I do not have this, uh, I don't have this in like in the video, I don't have a preset for this because it's right here. And it's kind of hard to make preset for those, but uh, I have some like impacts either way that like are good uh, enough for the tutorial I guess. So uh, what are you going to want to do? So what are you going to want to do? I'm just going to drag in my impact called Best Diagonal Impact, and I'm just going to drag it in, and it's really clean. Uh, I'm just going to wait for it to render out, but it should be looking like this. And uh, yeah, so now you have your impact in. Uh, now I'm going to drag in the song. I forgot to actually put in the song in the first place, but I'm just going to show you guys now like how to line up a song, although I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to do this. So go to where the beat drop is in the song, which should be right here. For me, I'm using the song Out of Love by Zolteca. Uh, it's a song that Sylvie used in his, one of his most recent montages, I think. So yeah, that's where I got the idea to use it. And now just basically now that you found the beat drop, add a marker on the beat drop. And yeah, just do exactly what I'm doing. Trim it, do all that good stuff. 
And now, make sure that the marker that I've added on the beat drop lines up with the kill. Uh, just like this. So as you can see, it lines up pretty good. Uh, and now, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a really cool reverb effect, like an audio effect, like right before the kill. So, what you're going to want to do is right where the build-up starts, uh, make sure that you have selected, like, the music. Right where the build-up starts, uh, you're going to want to split the music and split it again on the marker. So it should have, like, this little cut section in the music. And now click Alt on your keyboard, A-L-T, Alt. And, uh drag down the music like the split section by one layer and just stretch it out right there and drag this up now that you've done that uh what you're gonna want to do is let me turn this one a bit what you're gonna want to do is right here uh, in effects library go down to audio effects and search for reverb and you should see like this little 3d cube it looks really cool uh put it or put it into the bottom layer of the music and it should look like this. And obviously, that's not how I want, want it to sound. Like, it sounds really bad in my opinion. So first, the first step is to fade in that bottom section. So fade it in just like you fade in the build-up. Just like that. That should be good. And now I'm just going to adjust the settings a bit. So click on the, like, the split section at the bottom. And go into effects. And you should see this thing that says rever reverb. I'm going to make the room height. Uh, 8, so I'm just going to drag it until it says 8. And uh, that should be good. And uh, make room length like 24 or something. And make a uh, room width like 15. And I'm just going to fade it. I'm going to adjust it a bit. I'm going to make the fade a bit different like that. Uh, and also, something that you should do is go into audio right here and make the volume like minus 4. Yeah, so that sounds pretty clean in my opinion, and uh, for the last step, this is like completely optional in my opinion. Uh, this is just basically a uh, personal preference. Uh, what you're going to want to do, so what you're going to want to do is basically uh, delete the audio track. Like I said before, this is completely optional. Delete the audio track of the clip and drag in this really clean sound effects. It's spaz headshot. It's really like a perfect spaz sound effect and just line it up with the kill like this. So it should sound like this. And yeah, just make sure to line it up at the, like to the best of your ability. And uh, yeah, that should conclude the tutorial. So if you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure to drop a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, yeah, watch out for a huge announcement coming to my channel. By the time this video drops, it might already be here. So yeah, I'm super excited to announce that. And I'll see you guys next time.